Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Janet and in today's video we'll be sewing up some scrappy gift card holders for the holidays. They fit an average size gift card perfectly and can be hung from your tree, attached to a wrapped gift, or just handed to your gift recipient. I used a 1 quarter inch eyelet to wrap the ribbon through, but you could also sew a buttonhole. For this project, you'll need the template from my website which is linked in the description box below, backing fabric to sew your scrap pieces to. You'll need to cut two pieces for the larger template and one piece for the smaller template about an inch larger all the way around. You'll also need a variety of scrap fabric, matching ribbon, and of course the large eyelet set. When using scrap fabrics, there's no rhyme or reason to the design. Use your imagination and be sure to match up the raw edges. This is just an example of how you could create your design. Starting with one piece of the larger backing fabric, you'll choose one scrap piece to go in the middle. In this case, I chose a small square. Right side up, sew a quarter inch seam across the top of the scrap piece. Next, place a contrasting piece of scrap fabric and place it on top of the scrap piece you just sewed. Lay it right sides together and sew a quarter inch seam across the top. Fold the scrap fabric on top up and give it a good finger press. You'll do the same thing to the bottom of the first scrap piece, right sides together and sew a quarter inch seam at the bottom this time. Fold the fabric up and finger press. Now, take a strip of a different contrasting fabric and lay it right sides together matching raw seams. Sew a quarter inch seam to connect just like the other. I then trimmed the excess fabric off the end where it met with the other scrap pieces. Fold the fabric up and finger press. You'll keep repeating these steps until you have enough space to fit the template. What's your favorite thing to sew using scrap fabric? Let me know in the comments! At this point, you can either trace the template or sew some decorative stitches first. Another thought is to applique someone's name to the back or stitch a nice holiday phrase. Place the template over the top of the fabric and take a pencil or pen to outline. I used a Sharpie for demonstration purposes so you can easily see it. Next, take out some pinking shears and cut around the outside edge along the line.
Now you'll take the second piece of larger backing fabric, trace the template again, and cut it out using the pinking shears. This will be the fabric that will be showing on the inside of the holder. Placing wrong sides together, you'll stitch a quarter inch seam all the way around the two pieces. You've now completed the back side of the gift card holder. Grab the smaller piece of backing fabric and repeat all the steps you took for the back side, but a slightly smaller version. You'll be using the same template when you're done, folding at the fold line and cutting out a square of fabric. At this point, I needed a few longer pieces of fabric, so I joined two pieces together, pressed the seam out, placed right sides together, and sewed a quarter inch seam just like the others. I seem to have lost the video footage of this step, but this is where you cut out the fabric with the smaller template. Fold the template at the fold line, place on the fabric, and trace around the edges, then cut around the line with the pinking shears. Place the fabric wrong sides together and sew around the outside edge a quarter of an inch on three sides, creating a pocket for the gift card. Now you can either sew a buttonhole or add a large eyelet like I did. Measure down about a half inch. Fold down the fabric in one direction and make a small notch through the fabric with your scissors. Then fold the fabric on the other direction and cut a small notch again. Take one part of the eyelet and push the nail end through, pushing the snip fabric down. Now push the other side of the eyelet over the other piece and push it into place. Grab your ribbon and cut about 6 to 8 inches length. Place the raw ends together and sew a small stitch connecting the ends together. Snip off any excess ribbon, making sure not to cut through the stitches. Snip off any loose threads. Roll the ribbon right sides out, making sure the seam is on the inside. Fold the other end to make it fit through the eyelet. Loop it through to the other side and pull the ribbon up to secure it into place.
Now insert gift cards or cash and your gift recipient will be amazed. If you've liked the content you've watched today, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel to be alerted for new videos just like this. Thanks for watching.